Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're testing the ColourPop Winnie the Pooh collab, which is why I have this on. I saw this in my like hair stuff and I was like, oh, it looks like Winnie the Pooh, his ears. So yeah, I put those on because I'm weirdo. But um, yeah, so I was not sure if I was going to film this video because it's ColourPop and since this collection came out, there's been like two other ones already and I wasn't sure like if these products were even in stock, but I just checked before filming and everything is, in, is back in stock on the ColourPop website except the Honey Pot um, lip scrub and mask duo. So I don't know if it's coming back. I don't know if this collection will be in Ulta. I saw the Star Wars collection is in Ulta, but not this one. So I'm not sure why. Um, I don't know what that means. I'm in Canada. We don't even have Ulta, but <laughs> I just thought I would mention that because I know sometimes the ColourPop collections sell out online, but then they go to Alta, which is kind of weird. But yeah, I thought we would test this out um, anyway, because like I said, you can still get it. Maybe if you're still interested, you wanna pick something up from this collection. I am gonna be putting this on um, because I just have to, it's just too cute. Um, and I didn't put any lip balm on yet. So I'm gonna start with this. I hope it comes back at some point because it's the cutest thing ever. So like I said, this is the Honey Pot Lip Scrub and Mask Duo. It's from ColourPop and Fourth Ray because the lip mask is a Fourth Ray product. So this is the lip mask and the lip scrub. So I mentioned this in my most recent kind of like a haul video with makeup I'm excited about. They look the same, but um, the lip scrub, right? Yeah, the lip scrub has an opaque lid and the mask has like a more clear lid. But I'm gonna put the lip scrub on first, right? That would make sense. And I actually wanna test these little honey dippers, I guess I'm calling it that. I still didn't look up what they're called, but <laughs> Maybe I should have. So let's try this. It smells like honey. So yeah, let's just see if you can see the texture. That's what it looks like. So the ColourPop lip scrubs are not like loose sugar particles like the Lush ones. They have like a, you know, kind of like a balmy base to them. So let's put this on. <laughs> oh, okay. I took a lot, I think. Yeah, that was too much. Okay. I don't know if you're supposed to eat it like I just did because <laughs> it does taste sweet, but it also kind of tasted like lip balm. But it feels really nice. I do like um, a lip scrub that has like some balm to it because then it's not just like particles falling all over your face and you don't have to like do it over a sink or in the shower like you would with the Lush ones I find. Like that on its own already feels like I had, like I put a lip balm on. But let's just try the mask for fun. And we did get two of these things in the package, but I'm just gonna reuse the same one. So this is the lip mask. It's a lot more um, soft. You can even see that. It smells the same. I kind of really like this thing because it's round and it kind of like smooths the product on your lips. I took a lot though, again. 
So I don't know if this is supposed to be like an overnight lip mask or if you can just wear it like lip balm. I mean, you can always do whatever you want, but it doesn't like say anything on the package. So that feels really nice. I would wear this like out because it just made my lips look really smooth. And it's not like sticky or anything. It feels really, really nice. So what else is in the collection? So there's three highlighters. I thought that I might be able to try them all on. But we'll see. Because <laughs> maybe the deepest one is... Um, I was thinking maybe I'd use it as a bronzer. I already have cream bronzer on, but maybe I could put this on top. But it is very pigmented, so we'll see. But at least I can start with the lightest shade, which is Silly Old Bear. So this is the packaging. If you didn't see my haul video, it's so cute. I'm keeping it like I do most of my <laughs> ColourPop um, products. But like I also mentioned in that haul, my lids do not close all the way. I don't know what that's about. So I haven't seen anyone else say that, but no one else really, I haven't really watched any other videos <laughs> on this collection. So these are the Super Shock Cheek Formula. So if you're familiar with that, it's kind of like a cream to powder situation. So I think I'm going to apply this with my fingers because I can, I don't know if you can see, like I already swatched it and see how it's like super creamy. I don't know if a brush would work. Let's try it with the fingers. So this feels so soft and like buttery. That's the shade. Is this the lightest one? Yeah. So this has kind of like a yellow undertone. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but in person it kind of looks like it does. So let's see. Ooh. That's pretty. Yeah, I, I don't know how well it's blending out with the finger. Hello, my camera is really not wanting to focus today. I think that looks really pretty. So other side, same thing. Yeah, this side's gonna look way better because the window is right here. <laughs> So it's kind of adding, you know, extra lighting to make it look even more glowy. Wow, that's really pretty. I really like this formula so far. This is actually my first time trying a Super Shop Cheap product. So first impression, I love it, especially for my dry skin. It doesn't look powdery at all and it looks like seamless with my skin. I think I need a bit more on this side, maybe. And I'm gonna put some down my nose, like I usually do on the tip. Cupid's bow. Okay, I really like that already. So I was thinking with the deeper shade, the middle shade, which is called 100 Acre Wood. Maybe I'll try and put some back here. I mean, it's not like it's that much deeper. I would say this one is more like a slight yellow champagne and this one's more like a gold champagne but they're both i don't know i feel like 
my skin tone can wear both of these as a highlighter. Yeah, so with the brush, like it kind of stabs the formula, but I think it picked it up anyway. This is just a Quo brush. Um, I have no idea what it's made of, honestly. So <laughs> maybe if I just try and put it back here and up here. I don't even know if you can see a difference on camera. Just looks like wet. Okay, I really like this. So that's them on my hand. I think you can kind of see, yeah, like I said, this one is more like a gold and this is more champagne-y, but they're both like, you know, pretty light for highlighters. So if you have a deeper skin tone, probably this one would be best for a highlighter, but I think you can make the middle one work too, because it has a nice golden undertone, but I mean, I wouldn't know because <laughs> I only have one skin tone, but that's what I think. So I'll swatch the deeper one too. Like it's a pretty big jump from these two to this one. This one's almost like coppery. That would be a really nice eyeshadow actually, but I kind of want to... Do I want to try it as a bronzer? Just to see what happens like a bronzer topper. Is that a thing? <laughs> I know there's blush toppers, so I think there could be bronzer toppers also. I don't want a dense brush because I don't want to pick up too much product. So I have this powder brush from Billion Dollar Brushes. I always want to say Billion Dollar Brows. That's the same brand, but they make brushes and brow products, I guess. Like, let's see, does this even pick up product? I don't know if that did anything. Let's see. Do I look any different? <laughs> Maybe a little. Yeah, so this kind of brush doesn't pick up very much of this formula, but maybe that's good for what I'm trying to do with it right now, which is just to add a little glow to my cream bronzer. I was wearing a really light bronzer to begin with. Actually, it was my Kaja Bento that's in my deck of panning, this little trio. So the bronzer is quite, well, I mean, I guess it doesn't look that light. <laughs> but yeah, this is going on top fine, I guess. I picked up very little of the product though. I don't know, I guess it did something, but really it's a highlighter, so. I just wanted to see if I could make it work as a bronzer, but I think the formula is like too, I don't know. Like if I wanted to pick up more product, I'd have to use a denser brush, but then I would have applied too much and it would look like a dark highlighter on my face, I think. So maybe this one for me will get used more as an eyeshadow. And that was the shade Mind Over Matter, if I didn't say. I really love the formula though, so. 
Now I know. I keep getting the lip, um, the lip mask in my mouth, <laughs> and it's very sweet, but yeah, still feels really nice. So I think we'll just move on to the eyeshadow palette now, which is the cutest thing ever. This is the uh, Sweet As Can Be, but be like a bumblebee. So you have the shade names on the back. But the inside packaging looks the same as the box, so you wouldn't really need to keep the box for this unless you're like collecting ColourPop packaging. And I really like the inside. Oops, the little thing fell out. So there's no mirror in this palette, but it's really cute anyway, because it has a little Pooh Bear and a saying here. So these are the colors, very spring, sort of summer too, but I think more spring they're more like lighter kind of pastel-y but you can get some depth too there's a, this shade here and this deeper shimmer here so what do I want to do today I did uh, prime my eyes with the Urban Decay primer potion like usual I think I'm gonna go in with the shade think 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 this like kind of mustardy yellow. I'll zoom you in. So I'm just putting this like all up in my crease and blending upward. Ooh, that's like more, that went on a bit deeper than I was expecting, but I don't mind. I love that color. There's a lot of kick up in the pan, but I don't mind that at all. I think that's what makes the shadows very smooth and blendable normally. So that's the shade Think Think Think. I think I'm gonna stick to just this like quad here because it's really pretty. Um, and it has like all the shades I would normally like to use. Like that shade I just, <laughs> that shade I just used is the kind of tone that I would just do that with. like it everywhere as my starting shade and then I think I'll go in with Snackaroo this like camel brown it has a bit of shimmer in it but I think you won't really see that on the lid and I'm gonna put that more like focused in the crease and I'm looking for clean brushes so I'll show you how much kick up there is there is quite a bit you can see. As long as it doesn't like fall on my face, I never care about kick up. So I'm just mentioning that. I don't know. In case that gives you an idea of the formula. So this shade I'm putting like more directly in the crease and I'm focusing more on the outer like Two thirds, I guess. This is another shade that I love putting in my crease, actually. So this is pretty much a a complete like palette for me. I don't have to reach for anything else. There's no like very light cream shade that I usually set my primer with, but. I don't like if it's not in a palette I'm not gonna I'm not gonna think it's missing but if it was in there I would have reached for that shade first but that's fine not all palettes need a 
matte cream shade. So far, everything is blending super nicely. I have never had an issue with any ColourPop shadows, actually. I think I've liked everything I've tried from them so far. And I now have a lot of ColourPop. <laughs> which I didn't used to, but there's been so many good collabs. I feel like their collabs are their best launches. They're always done so well. Um, but since I buy a lot of collabs, I never feel like I need anything from their regular line. Cause it's all kind of, I don't know, it all becomes the same, like the same products, just different shades and like how many, <laughs> of each do I really need. Okay, love that shade also. Yeah, I'm gonna take the shade Pooh Bear, this nice like terracotta kind of shade on the outer V. It's very pigmented. I keep wanting to look at this, but there's no mirror. That never used to bother me, but for filming, at this angle, I need a mirror to look in or else I'll end up like down here looking at my regular mirror and you won't see me. So I have to get used to holding a mirror. That is a really pretty shade also. I, um, I tapped it off so I didn't get a lot of pigment on but that's because I don't think I want a super like deep outer V because I'm going to put a shimmer on the lid anyway. So it's just to give some kind of depth. I love this shade um, on my eye color. It just, I feel like it brings out greens very well. I actually love this brush too. I think that's the first time I've ever used it. <laughs> it's a Moda Pro from Royal and Langnickel, the BMX 466 shade. If you can see, like, it's kind of like slanted here, so it's actually perfect for what I'm doing right now. Okay, that's really pretty too. And not, nothing's like patchy at all, very easy to use. I'm very happy already. I mean, these shades are not anything revolutionary, but this is the kind of look that I like to do. So for the lid, I'm gonna go in with Oh Bother. So cute. It's like a pink, sort of pink shimmer. I'm gonna use my finger for this, I think. That's what it looks like. Whoa. Pretty. So this, I was not expecting to be so kind of dry, I guess. <laughs> that sounds bad, but I just mean like it doesn't have like a, a creamy base, like some kind of metallic stew, but it's very pigmented nonetheless. That's really pretty. It just, it feels very thin. I guess that's a better term. But yeah, definitely went on nice with the finger, but probably with the brush would have been fine too. I am going to use a brush to get in the inner corner because my nails are too long right now. And I'm just going to go back in with this brush to kind of blend up here. Okay, I'm very happy with this. It became very like peachy, I guess, but I 
I really like it. Uh, for the lower lash line, I think I'm going to do the same, the first shade I used, Think, 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 the like mustardy shade. I'm going to put that all across. Yes, I like that. And then the brown shade. Sm oh, smackaroo. <laughs> I think I said snackaroo before. No, it's smackaroo. Just on the outer half, kind of. And maybe just a touch of the Pooh Bear shade on the very outer corner. The shade is very pigmented, especially with a pencil brush. Well, especially this brush. This is a MAC 219. It's very um, dense and scratchy, <laughs> actually. But I love the shape of it. I think it's a um, natural hair brush um, because this is an old brush like before I think they made their brushes synthetic. I think that's why it's so scratchy. Okay, I think I like that. So I know this is probably like a super boring look <laughs> for some of you. Um, and there is some, there is some nice colors in this palette, but I just didn't feel like doing that today. But this is a really pretty shade, um, Honey Tree. What even is this? It's like a blue-green, very interesting. Kind of like a minty shade. And then next to it, there's like an olive green, Sing Ho, which is really pretty really pretty too um actually i think i'll use another shade this one make believe that looks like um kind of like a yellowy shade like the highlighter actually i'm gonna put that on my inner corner actually this is kind of the only shade I would use for my inner corner in the palette, aside from the one that I already put on my lid, because there is, those are the only two light shimmers. Yeah, this one has more of a yellow undertone than the highlighter even, but I like it for, it's not that brightening for an inner corner shade, but Yes, yeah, so I'm very happy with my first impression of this palette. I definitely think you can do other things than what I just did. You don't have to do a warm look. You can do the greens that I showed you. This like shade, Best Friends. This is more of a matte with shimmer. That is very pigmented. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. So actually this one, the shimmer is um, visible in there, like it's, there's a lot of shimmer, like it's saturated and it's like a nice gold shimmer. So that one would be really pretty on the lid too if you want to do a deeper look. And then the shade Rumbly is this like lavenderish shade. Well, I guess it's more pink. So all of the mattes in this palette, except for, well, except for the ones I used, this one, this one, and the deepest one in my tumbly, all of the other mattes have shimmer in them. So just to point that out, if that's something you don't like, but I don't mind the ColourPop 
matte with shimmer formula. It's in the Animal Crossing collection and I love that collection so I feel like it, it's really nice and the shimmers don't end up flying all over your face. They actually are kind of like really integrated with the, the formula. Usually a matte with shimmer you put it on and you don't see the shimmer at all but these ones I think you will see them more. Let me just swatch in my tumbly because I want to see how deep. Oh yeah, it's like a nice burgundy. Whoa, that is very pigmented. So yeah, you can get a deeper look with this. You can get a more like nighttime look. I feel it's very versatile, even though it's, you know, Winnie the Pooh theme. You can do a lot more with it than just yellow. You know? So very happy with that. So the last thing in the collection is the Just a Taste of Honey uh, Lux Gloss Trio. But I'm gonna finish the rest of my like mascara and everything and I'll be back to swatch all three of these. Okay, I'm back. Um, I feel like I look very greasy because I tried, I'm trying to use up this stupid <laughs> Spray said go. That's how much I have left. But this is so, like it drenches your face. And now that it's only this much, it's even worse because it's having a hard time like spraying consistently. So, <laughs> I don't know, just ignore that. Um, but I, for mascara, I actually used my new um, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. But it's the shade Dream Pop. So it's like a, it's described as a berry brown shade. And I thought that would look nice with the tones on my eye. And it's very natural. But I, I like it. You will probably see this again because I'm going to do a video like products TikTok made me buy kind of thing. Because that's definitely <laughs> what happened with this. Um, I also put my Tarte nude eyeliner on my waterline and that's it and then drenched myself with that setting spray so let's try the Lux gloss trio i've never tried a Lux gloss from colourpop before so i don't know anything about this it doesn't say anything but the packaging is so cute i think i'm gonna keep them in this packaging because i love it <laughs> Although I'm running out of space for things like this in my collection, but it's so cute. I'll just swatch all of them and then figure out which one I want to wear. So I'll start with the lightest shade, which is this nice, like, caramelly nude. Um, this is the shade Clover Honey. And that's the packaging. It has... Winnie the Pooh, of course, and like this honeycomb detail, super cute. So I've heard that people do not like the Lux Gloss from ColourPop. I don't know why. I think maybe, have I maybe heard that it's because it's a thick formula for some reason? I think so, but I don't remember who said that. So I'm just removing the lip mask because it's gonna be a lot of product. <laughs> but that, my lips feel really nice from those, from the scrub and the lip mask. So I will definitely keep using those, although I have other lip scrubs and masks to use that are older. So the, the Lux Gloss smells like the, the lip scrub and the lip mask Maybe like a sweeter scent than a honey, but it smells really good actually. Coming from someone that doesn't like the smell of honey, which I mentioned before in my last video. So let's try this. Um, this is the wand, so it's a big wand. And it, it looks like I have a lot of product on there, so I'm not sure how this is going to go.
Oh, okay. Um, this actually feels kind of like the lip mask did. Like it, it is thick. So that shade on me um, doesn't really come across as a nude shade because my the natural shade of my lips is quite like rosy toned. So this kind of just looks like a sheer gloss or like a lip balm even. So I will say it does feel thick on the lips but it's not sticky. So I actually think I'm going to like this a lot because it's kind of like the Fenty Gloss Balm. Yeah, no stick, nothing. And I don't think there's any, yeah, there's no shimmer in any of these from what I can see. So it's just a really glossy formula. Mm. It's kind of doing like the stringy thing. Uh, maybe because I had applied a lot of it, but I don't know. It feels like a lip balm, honestly, as opposed to a lip gloss. But yeah, you'll get a lot of product on the wand because there's actually like a little dip in there, so that's gonna hold even more product. So if you want, you know, a more sheer application, just be mindful of that. But I like how it feels. I just don't think like this color it doesn't mean anything because it's not gonna show up like that on my lips personally. Let's try the middle shade. There is color to the gloss, but just on my lips, it's not going to show up. <laughs> so the next shade up is called Wildflower Honey. It smells the same. <laughs> I don't know why I keep smelling it. Yeah, this one has more of a color to it. Like a orangey brown. I actually really like this applicator. It feels really like cushiony on the lips. Some lip gloss applicators, I feel like they're very stiff and they kind of just move the product around, but this one's really nice. I really like this one because you can see that it has a color to it. Yeah, that's really pretty. It goes really well with the eye look I did also. This one's not doing the strings like the first one. So I think maybe I had put too much of this. Uh, I guess the key to this formula is less is more. But I love the shade of this one. Wildflower Honey. But I want to see how deep the deep shade goes. What I also like about a thicker gloss is that it doesn't go all over. It stays like on your lips and it lasts longer throughout the day, in my opinion. So the deepest shade is this very deep kind of brown. This is the shade Dandelion Honey. That's what that looks like. Almost like a I can't really tell if this is gonna be brown or more plum. Like I feel like because this one's a deeper shade, I have to um, blend it out more. I like this one too. Um, but
but not really with my overall look. This one would be more for like a rosier look on the eyes, I feel, but it's a nice shade also. But I definitely think the middle one was my favorite. It's not as deep as I thought it was going to be, but I like it. So that's the shade Dandelion Honey. So they're all honey, but just different flowers. This actually reminds me of Clinique Black Honey, the shade of it. Um, it's kind of like browny, purpley, rosy. Yeah. So I like that one too, but... I, the middle one was my favorite for this look, so I'm going to put that one back on. My lips are still sweet. I don't know if it's these Lux glosses. I don't want to taste it to find out, but I don't know if it's still the lip scrub, but something on my lips is still sugary. So let me put back on Wildflower Honey. So I guess I'd have to wear this for a while to see if I really like the formula, but so far I don't like I don't have anything bad to say except for when I put this one on and I went like this, you could see strings, but I think I had put too much of it. So I yeah, like I said, probably less is more with this kind of formula because it is very thick, but it's not sticky and it feels like a lip balm honestly like a it feels like if they had called this a gloss balm like b a l m i would be like yeah okay but it's a lux gloss so yeah i'm very happy with everything that i tried today i really like the highlighter the eyeshadow can't complain let's see how much is this stuff? Because I feel like I paid more for this collection than I have other ones where I got more product. So I think like having the Disney name makes a difference. But so the eyeshadow palette, I have the Canadian prices because I'm in Canada, is $23.77. So I feel like that is. A higher price point for ColourPop but I think the quality is just as good you know as any other ColourPop and for me that's good that I really like the ColourPop quality I feel like it's very blendable it's very user-friendly I've never had an issue with anything ColourPop eyeshadow wise the Highlighters you can buy in a set. It's called the Happy Morning Cheek Set and it's $35.65 Canadian. Um, and the lip set you can buy in the trio for $35.65. Oh, so the same price as the highlighters, which is kind of strange. I feel like usually highlighters are more expensive than lip products. I don't know. But you can also get the lip products individually and the highlighters individually if you wanted. They just don't have the collection on the site anymore and they don't have the duo of the lip scrub and the lip mask. So hopefully, I mean if you care, if anyone still cares, <laughs> I feel like this is already old news in Colourpop world, but um, I'll... If something changes, like by the time I upload this video, I'll let you know in the description box. And yeah, I think that's it for today. I tried all the products and nothing was bad. <laughs> so that's good. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!